So, how do you like those legs so far? Hello here, what do we got here today? We have the stage light with me today, just bought it from Amazon and this is the LPC007 apparently it is a 180 watt uh, stage light and uh, it will work with the uh, DMX512 controller but I'm not doing that for the stage lighting I'm just using it for background lighting um, so let's do an unboxing video and see what we got here now as you can see uh, it comes with a box like this not 100% uh, safe and secure but who knows you're paying about 70 bucks for uh, one of the lights so what can we, what more can we ask for Get my favorite cutter Now I'm pretty excited to, to open this and the main reason is that I've been looking for LED light as a background light for a while and then hey, okay, want to try something different and then instead of uh, using this regular LED light, we'll see how stage light works. Alright, as we can see, once the box is open, you got uh, some kind of mask. Right. Just boom. And ta -da! Oh my god. Stage light. This, this is actually very very light. No pun intended. Alright. I'm surprised actually. This is actually built from metal instead of uh, those cheap plastic. I mean, obviously, it doesn't feel like expensive metal, but still, it's built from metal. And then it claims to have a uh, 180 watt. So I assume it seems like maybe around what 2,000 lumens that we would get from those lights. So in here, uh, we have the uh, label, the SLPC00. 7s, 7 stars. Yep, the manufacturer, 7 stars. So let's plug it in and see what we got. Now, the cable wise, it's kind of short. Uh, let's get a ruler. What, roughly about 2 feet? A little more than 2, two feet, about a little more than. Uh, 60 centimeter. So if you need to use that for stage lighting, I'm pretty sure you need to uh, either use a, a power bar or extension cord. Luckily, I have a power bar right here. So everything is actually made of metal and as you can see from the back, you got all the plugs in here and then you can adjust the lighting in here. I think that's pretty uh, self-explanatory and for those of you who are in stage lighting already, you probably know what's, how this is working, how this is working. Alright, um, let me see. So you got menu. All right, get to get it working. All right, we got some dust cold lighting going on. All right, some fading. That's pretty cool, actually. Wow, it's pretty impressive. So right now, I have both lights turned on. Um, my video recording setting is at uh, 200 ISO, the shutter speed is 1 over 60, and then the white balance is set to 4400. Technically speaking, um, it's on the warmer side, but uh, this is the quality of the lights. Now my room itself in here, uh, my camera to the, to the light is about uh, 2 feet, and then from the light to the wall, it's probably around seven feet. 
And all the lights are turned off at this point. So we got a bit of a disco effect going on here. As you can see, both of them set to CC95. Which is the, uh, the changing color. So, how do you like those lights so far? Now, as you can see, I got a, a little darker. No, I didn't get any tan, but I changed the camera setting. Uh, right now, I'm shooting at uh, 50 ISO and the shutter speed at 100. Still 4400K uh, for the white balance. Um, so far, I'm pretty satisfied with those lights. Um, your quality, it's okay. It's not superb, but it does the job. Uh, I still need to play around with the profile and so I can adjust the color a little more. The only downside for this light is the short cable. If you're going to use this light uh, like what I'm doing right now, it's better for you to have extension cord. But aside from that, um, color seems to be alright and everything else seems to be working. So if you like this video, if you want to see more uh, review on other things, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel UC Way. And um, in the next video, we will be uh, doing some other unboxing. Looking forward to seeing you there. Bye bye.